woman is perched on a 100 meter toe high platform. First, she drops one high heel, then kicks off the other from her foot. Slowly turning around, she clings to the platform with only her hands, then makes a determined jump, accompanied by piercing screams. The woman lands heavily on the floor. But strangely, she emerges completely unscathed. It turns out that due to her belong stay up there, the seemingly short to meter platform has become unfathomable in her eyes. Jenny, originally a model, captured the heart of a wealthy husband. Under his intense pursuit, they quickly entered the realm of marriage. However, one morning, she woke up to find an additional structure on the living room wall. Her husband enthusiastically explained that Jenny could now stay up there. Initially dismissing it as a joke, Jenny soon found her husband setting up an office desk in front of the platform. This way, even during his work, he could see Jenny at all times, providing him with constant motivation. He further persuaded Jenny to quit her job, become a full-time housewife, and assured her she wouldn't have to do any household chores just to accompany him every day. Faced with her husband's tender affection, Jenny quickly succumbed, eventually giving up her career for love. With her husband's assistance, Jenny climbed onto the platform for the first time. The platform had a soft cushion that she liked, and gradually, she became accustomed to and even enjoyed the sensation. Even during family banquets, she sat her day on the platform, enjoying the attention of the guests. Her husband continued to treat her exceptionally well, often handing up client calls during work to chat with Jenny. Each time he returned from outings, he brought gifts, from a bunch of flowers to a diamond necklace. This made Jenny content, thinking she made the right choice. But like the freshness of a flower, her husband's love seemed to have an expiration date. At some point, gifts stopped coming, replaced by a perfunctory air kiss. Even the housekeeper began to show impatience, treating Jenny with indifference. He even believed Jenny was affecting his work, directly moving his office desk, facing away from her. Men sometimes chain others in love but find them burdensome when the love fades. Over time, Jenny started to entertain thoughts of escape. After marriage, the woman found herself placed on a pedestal as a symbol of the wealthy husband's status, admired and exhibited by everyone. What's even more frightening is that, from initial confusion, she surprisingly began to enjoy this role, and their marital relationship became more harmonious. Until one day, the husband grew tired of this dynamic, claiming that gazing at greenery outside the window could alleviate eye fatigue. He directly had his office desk turned around, facing away from Jenny, forgetting that his original intention was to have Jenny accompany him while working. Jenny became increasingly aggrieved. What was once the husband's request for her to sit up there had now turned into blaming Jenny for affecting his work. The person who once held you in the palm of his hand becomes indifferent when he no longer loves you. As oh, Jenny spent three years on the pedestal. One afternoon, feeling thirsty and with the husband and the housekeeper absent, Jenny entertained the idea of coming down. Due to her extended stay on the platform, the seemingly short to meter distance now looked like an abyss in her eyes. Jenny first threw down a high heel as a test, then turned around, clung to the platform, and with determination, jumped down in one breath. When she safely landed, Jenny realized that it wasn't as frightening as she had imagined. However, the prolonged sitting made her forget how to walk. Awkwardly, she made her way to the sofa and accidentally stumbled. Jenny stood up again, like a newborn, starting to take on steady steps. Soon, she ventured outside, reaching the poolside to dip her feet into the icy water. Jenny, like a child, knocked over a basket of tennis balls. Then, she happily danced and got on a van, arriving at a lively neighborhood. She enthusiastically accepted invitations, laughing joyfully in the wind. She went to the beach, engaged in yoga with others, danced, and even jumped into the sea. When she returned to the beach, dripping wet, seeking a towel from tourists, she was met with cold indifference. Alone on the street, after the excitement faded, she was left with a deeper sense of loneliness. Now with a home she couldn't return to, Jenny faced the question of where to go next. The woman danced barefoot on the table. The reason for this unusual behavior was that she had just left the pedestal. She had been trapped on for three long years. After a brief celebration, what awaited her was the endless reality. Three years of domestic life had made her lose herself. No social life, no job, not even a friend. Jenny had moments of self-doubt until she was drawn to a makeup store. Customers inside were delicately applying makeup and Jenny admired them greatly. There was a time when she was a glamorous world famous model. Her mother had taught her from a young age to always be the most beautiful woman. Almost involuntarily, she walked into the store. Looking at her disheveled reflection in the mirror, she decided to start anew from that moment. With innate talent and a lifelong sense of beauty, picking up a makeup brush felt natural to her. Jenny's skillful techniques caught the attention of the store staff, and they excitedly asked about her profession. Initially hesitant, Jenny candidly told them she had no job, merely being a trophy wife to a wealthy husband. Surprisingly, the staff didn't discriminate. Instead, they understood her situation. It felt like Jenny had found a kindred spirit, and they chatted happily. Inspired by the store staff, Jane went home and took a metal rod to personally smash the pedestal she had been on for three years. 
In that moment, she bid farewell to the past and felt reborn. A year later, a makeup store named after her had a long queue outside. People came from afar to catch a glimpse of Jenny's charm. Inside the store, Jenny behaved with elegance, warmth, and generosity. The only constant was that she still set her day on a pedestal. At this moment, a mother-daughter pair entered the store. The daughter was quickly captivated by Jenny on the pedestal and asked her mother if she could be like Jenny in the future. The mother hastily denied and they proceeded to explore the makeup store. Reflecting on the film, there's a profound sentiment. The identity of the wealthy husband reflects many real-life men. They often, in the name of love, shackle their partners but grow weary when love becomes dull. If the only virtue left in a relationship is the other person being good to you, it's time to reconsider whether the relationship still has a purpose. Because once the love fades with time, you might find yourself with nothing. Jenny's ending, though poignant, aligns with expectations. What remains unchanged is her sitting on the pedestal, but more noticeable is the newfound composure and confidence on her face. When faced with choices, it's often unnecessary to worry too much about others' opinions. Just persist in doing what you love.